All right, so this is a quick tutorial about how to use uh, oscilloscopes. Um, so we're going to start with amplitude. And the way you measure amplitude, um, you take the distance between the zero line, which will be indicated by the little area you'll see on the left side of our oscilloscope, and uh, the, ma the maximum or the minimum. So like this little red arrow here. Uh, if we go over to our oscilloscope, um, the way we'd measure amplitude here is, so our zero line is this little little one. And as you can see, that we're using 5 volts per subdivision, per vertical subdivision. Um, and here, our wave extends to one grid line and a little bit of the other one, about maybe two-fifths. Um, so we can say that the amplitude here is 5 plus two-fifths, um, about 7 volts. So that would be our amplitude. DC offset, we measure um, from the zero line to our uh, axis of the wave. And usually this, this is when the wave is off-centered. Um, so if we go over to our oscilloscope, here we're on AC coupling. Let's switch to DC coupling so we can see the DC offset. Um, so this will be our DC offset. Um, so the way we measure that is just from the zero line up to the axis. And what I like to do sometimes is have a channel 2 with ground coupling and kind of just move it around uh, to help us to help us um, see where the axis is. So it's about there and our zero line. So it's about almost one grid line in this case. Um, so it would be about maybe 4.5 volts, we'll say. Um, so I'll talk a little about coupling, but AC-DC coupling, um, essentially what it does is it's a, it's a different way of seeing the wave, our signal. So let's switch up to channel 2. So here, channel 1 is in DC coupling, which means we can see our, our DC offset as I toggle with this knob of our uh, signal generator. Um, if I switch this to, to AC coupling, which is indicated in this box here, um, and, I and I toggle with the offset, as you can see, the wave kind of moves a little bit, but it stays... Um, centered on, on our zero line. So we're only getting the AC signal of our wave. Uh, the last thing we want to talk about is, is triggering, which is also uh, which is a very useful uh, feature of oscilloscopes. So our trigger knob is over here. It's our, it says, you can see it says trigger level. And this is this moves the arrow on the right. And this helps us to keep the wave steady. Uh, if I move this arrow past our, our range, the wave starts to move, and uh, usually when we're analyzing our signal, we want to keep it still, so we keep it within the range. And yeah, that pretty much covers uh, oscilloscopes. I hope you understand it now.